Please! I don't deserve to die. You are no innocent. None of you are. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, Here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Ooh. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. When does the oil start to flow again? You ought to thank us. Sign the contract, and you'll be back at work tomorrow. For two-thirds pay-in with good men and women dead. We aren't signing anything without talking to Abigail. What's wrong with you people? There's folks in Dunwall begging to do your job. We'll have your pay. They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city west when the time is right. Is the wall of light down? You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Here's the card, sir. I hope you burn this place. Best luck, sir. You're one of the good ones. Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. Hey, have you been in the chair already? 
Yes, but I, I signed right away. Mr. Rothwild didn't even have to turn it on. I don't believe you. No, it's true. Is he? Calling you a liar? Rothwild has a chair in the meat locker. He uses it to control the workers there. I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and... Well, Dowd? What do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. You know... I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. The Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. I've seen this thing used. I know how to resist it. That would... All right, enough! Listen, this is what they told me. There was supposed to be a plan. They said Rothwild was diverting 10% of the oil he harvested, cheating the Lord Regent of the product. But he wasn't doing it alone. He had a partner who sold him the ship, the Delilah. Who is his partner? And why did he name it Delilah? Barrister Arnold Timsch. Why do you want to know this? You don't care about the oil at all, do you? This is about the name. Tell me about Delilah. She's the real story. Delilah used to be a kitchen apprentice in the Empress's court at Dunwall Tower, but she got sacked for something. 
Later, Sokolov spotted her talent as a painter and made her part of his circle. She met Timch and enthralled him. An old bastard like that, he was helpless. He named the ship for her. She took him for all he had. Almost. But it ended. How? Why? Delilah had some kind of hold on him. They said he was obsessed, then terrified. No one knows why. I hope that was satisfying. Here, I found the room key. When you're ready to go, I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. Leave me be. Please, I can't take another. I don't deserve to die. You are no innocent. None of you are. anyway. Well, they think they don't get treated fairly. Die, hagfish! Take it! Not done yet, assassin. What about the shrines? Tell me about the blood rituals you perform there. Someone's down. I'll feed your heart to the hound. Pleasure to watch you work. Feels like there's always more to learn about pain. Barrister Timsch lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsch family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go.